Hi, my name is Dario Rios and this is a video that I made for the Coursera course and interactive programming for Python. And in this video we're going to talk about three math functions that can be used for, for your assignments. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to talk about three math functions. There are several functions in the math model, but we're going to focus on these three. The first one is the math point seal that can run a number outward to its nearest integer. There is a function called the math point floor that can run a number downward to its nearest integer. And there is a math point log that returns the natural logarithm on x. If only one argument is specified, it will use for default base e, where e equals 2.7182a. So, we are going to cause culture and see how this works. So here we are at the cause culture page. So the first thing that you have to do is to import the math model. And here are some examples of the function math point seal. In the first example, I have 2.3 rounds up to. If I apply the function, it's supposed to give me 3. In the second example, I had 0 0.895 and it applied the function that's supposed to give me 1 because it rounds up to the nearest integer to the closest tenth and in the third example I had a question for you if I have minus 1.87 and I applied this function what will be the result? it will be minus 1 or minus 2 Supposing that the function should take me to the nearest integer up. And I give you a few seconds just to think about it. So I realized that you had come to the answer already. So it's supposed to give me minus 1. Because it belongs to the closed tense or to the to up, to the nearest integer. So it should give me minus 1. In the last example, I had minus 0 0.9 and I applied the math point seal function, it's supposed to give me 0. Now, the last thing I will, I will do will is uh, run this code. So, to verify the results, 2.3 rounds up 3, 0 0.895 rounds up to 1, minus 1.87 rounds up to minus 1 as you can see minus 0 0.9 rounds up to 0 and here we are the cross control page again and again I will import the math model to use the math functions and uh, what I'm gonna explain to you this time is a math point for function that runs down to the nearest integer in this case, do the opposite thing to the math point seal function. Uh, here I had four examples, and in the first example, I had 1.31 rounds down to, and I applied the function supposed to show me one. In the second example, I had 0 0.7, and applying the math point floor function, it's supposed to give me zero, and a third example, I have 3.458745 rounds down 2 and I apply the function is supposed to give me 3 and knowing these cases in the fourth example I should ask you if I have minus 8.5624 what will be the result? so as you expected I give you a few times just to think about it and the result will be minus 9 because it goes it goes down to the nearest integer so to let you know the result uh, don't you think that i invent this here are the result so i have had 1.31 rounds down to 1 yeah i have, yeah, I have 0 0.7 rounds down to 0 yeah i have 3.458745 rounds down to 3 and uh, the question uh, has minus 8.5624 rounds down to 
minus 9. So this is the application of the function mat point floor that is exactly the opposite thing to the mat point seal. So here we are at code code for again. Uh, this time I'm going to explain you about the function mat point log. Uh, this function is used for obtaining the logarithm of uh, number x that I should specify. And first thing that I had is that when in the function there are two forms to use. The first one is to specify just the number that I was that I want to obtain the result. And if I don't specify a base, what it will do is will take default a default base of mat point e. That mat point e is 2.71a and so on. If I specify a second parameter for the mat point lot function, what it will do is use the second parameter as the base. So in this case, if I had mat point log 1000 and it will take 1000 and give me the logarithm of that number in the base of 5. And in this another example, I had something very similar. I had the map point log function, and I had 100, and it will give me that number in base 4. That's supposed to give me the result. So I will run the code. And you will notice that I had numbers with a lot of decimals. So here I can try to combine the functions. I can use mat point sealed. Don't forget to put the parentheses. And that's supposed to give me. Did I use mat point seal? As you remember, it's two, it's two rounds up, so it's supposed to give me four. I think that again. Okay, give me four. And did I do a similar thing? But using the function floor, it should give me three. So this is another way to apply the functions. Try to combine them and see what see what happens. What results can you can obtain on applying this function that could be useful for this uh, second assignment or for the next the next ones. Well, that's the end of this lesson, so I hope that all of the functions that I had with you here were useful, or are going to be useful for you, and the rest that I need to say is, have fun with the coding. See you in the nearby future.